In 2014, at the World Trophy event in Hungary, Delosa took the battle to win it again. The gruelling four-discipline one-man relay tested his medal and he came out atop the five-time world champ for the second time in two outings. Yeah, it was a very satisfying moment to win the World Trophy in 2014. I'd watched it on TV, thought it was a great event, thought it suited me, you know, I really like the endurance sort of stuff, big on fitness and, uh, you know, trying to keep myself in good condition, so... Yeah, when I qualified for that, yeah, it was certainly on my, um, you know, bucket list to try and win that event, so, yeah, very satisfying. Get set! With the individual world title and the world trophy title firmly in his midst, Delosa solidified his position in the history books. At the 2014 World Championship in Austria, the Chocoroos set the stage alight, taking out Canada in the final. World champions are Team Australia! Yeah, so in 2014, I actually held the three titles, the World Trophy win, which I'd won in 2014. I was the current World Championship from the previous year in 2013. And that night in 2014, we won the Teams World Championship in um, Austria. So so for a 24 hour period, I, um, I actually held the three Timber Sports uh, World titles and as, as much as you could possibly win in the in the Timber Sports ranks. So it was, yeah, quite a, you know, quite a satisfying moment and um, yeah, a good, good accomplishment. He is the new world champion. For Australia's Brad DeLosa, winning the 2013 Steel Timber Sports World title, the 2014 World Trophy, and the 2014 Team World title, set him up for one of his biggest challenges to date, backing up his world individual title against the most successful Steel Timber Sports athlete ever, Jason Winyard. Yeah, the World Championships, you're up against the stiffest competition that there is, other than probably a couple of guys in Australia that miss out, the best are there in front of you, so. Jason Winyard is, you know, or has been probably every year I competed in the World Championships, the, the hardest competitor to beat. In 2014, Delosa won his underhand Who's going to be? It's going to be Brad Delosa. He stayed in contention with his stock saw and came up against Winyard in the standing block. Delosa throwing it in good, but wow, Winyard wins this one clearly. I beat him in the stock saw and he beat me in all the other events by less than a second. Great form, Delosa. They met in the single buck. And Winyard is through first. And then again in the spring ball. Winyard with a fantastic come from behind win. At the end of five disciplines, Delosa trailed Winyard by five points with a clear shot at going back to back for his second world title. And again in 2014, the competition came down to the hot saw. When I come up against Jason in them sort of situations, I was sort of quite comfortable with competing against him. Because he was so good, he forced you into making mistakes to try and stick with him. You know, he had pressure on you all the way through. But he was certainly a competitor that if you did beat him, you knew you'd certainly earned it. And he was the, you know, he was the benchmark. Get set. Good soft start for Delosa. First cookie looks very good. Time is running. Nice second cookie solid. Oh, he clips the third cookie. Ah! And the saw stops right in the way of the third cookie. And it won't fall. That is unfortunate. That's opened the door and put a big sign for Jason Winyard. It's a little bit unfortunate there in the hot saw. I really had to, you know, had to go for the win and um, it didn't come off. So that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. You, you don't like to see other competitors have a bad time. and. Um, you know, it's an unpredictable event. But the hot saw fail was something that Delosa put behind him. 